welcome to Mornings with Crafting Journey, September 10th, 2020. I have my TSA, Treasure Studios Art, Rachel Froud butterfly out today. And it's in crystal rhinestones. So beautiful. Um, I haven't worked on it in a week or so, so I thought, let's get this one out and uh, give it a go. Guys, can I just say that uh, there is not enough time in the day, I gotta turn the light pad on, um, to do everything I wanna do. I get, uh, I started the coolest craft yesterday. It's cross stitch, but you add beads and I'll put the card up here so that you guys could go back and watch it if you want. But it's, um, it's even got a button that you can add at the end. This little ghost button is so cute. Um, so I started that and I was really having a good time with it. I just, um, it's, and it's not on fabric. It is on paper. So uh, the only bad thing, it came in a kit. And the only bad thing about it is I've got to sit and separate the thread. It's one of those where the thread is just, it comes as one big conglomerate of thread <laughs> but I will get that ironed out so to speak in my spare time but I don't have <laughs> I'm trying to finish like one canvas can I finish one canvas before Halloween <gasps> which reminds me tonight at 9 15 central time which would be 10.15 Eastern. Sorry, so late. But I didn't want to go over Wolfpack. Wolfpack is live from, I think she said 6 to 9 or 6.30 to 9. Sorry, maybe 6.30 to 9. But that's a long time, girl. Yeah, I can't talk that long. But she's amazing. Amazing. I just love her. She's on my uh, Treasure Studios art um, affiliation team. And she is, like I said, she's awesome. So, um, God, where was I going with all that? <laughs> oh, so after her show, I will be doing a premiere of the Halloween canvas that Jennifer Roberts, DP Addiction Adventures, and I are doing for Halloween. And it's going to be hashtag adventurous journey 2020. I'll put that across the screen. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and um, oh, I think, you you know, even if you've seen the unboxing of this canvas, Jen did one yesterday. She did an amazing job. Um, I put a little different spin on it that I think you're going to enjoy. Um, and it is a premiere. It's a chance for us to get together again at the end of today. So it's Thursday, and I... I had one devil of a time yesterday with my internet because the weather is absolutely crap. I'm just going to say it. It's cold. Oh, my back itches. Oh, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> it's cold and raining, and the rain did not stop all day yesterday. Not like pouring rain, just that drizzle. Um, and it's supposed to continue today and tomorrow. It wasn't so bad. I did get Tootsie out for a walk. She was not thrilled yesterday. Not at all. Got my coffee. <gasps> oh, microphone. Oh, I hope you guys have been hearing me blabber on and on for the last four minutes. So sorry. Anyway, oh. <clears throat> Pause. Okay. <clears throat> so just a couple of things that um, I gleaned from watching YouTube yesterday. Or at least one thing that I thought was sort of heartbreaking and sort of interesting. But um, Jennifer Roberts, the same person that I'm doing the Halloween collab with, was doing a collab with Mysteria Diamonds. And I guys, I told you about that collaboration. It's for uh, dragons. Dra it's dragons. You know, they were going to do dragons. And they're still going to do it. They've just had to postpone it. Um, the canvas that Jennifer Roberts ordered from Craftably. And you can go to her channel and watch the video that talks about licensing. I think it says, licensing is no joke. Um, and it isn't. So she had ordered a canvas from Craftably 
um, and come to find out it, that artwork was licensed by another company and craftably apparently apologized to her, said they had, they thought they had licensed it and apparently the licensing company had made an error and now they were pulling all those canvases and so, so long story short, Jennifer has to order a new canvas. Um, so, yeah. So once she gets that canvas, I think um, the dragon collab will be back on again. <laughs> Jen, how do you do two collabs at the same time? Well, I do too, but one is mystery diamond painting. So I don't I consider that a collab, but it's more like a community event that I'm just hosting. Um, so it's not, I don't know. I don't know how it's different, but anyway. So I guess I'm doing the same thing. I, I always have more than one canvas going at a time. You guys know I've got 42 projects in this craft room. Oh my God, I've got to clean this up. <laughs> if you could see my craft room right now, because my workspace is a mess. This over here has just become piles. I just, <laughs> And I've got to clean it because I have got to find my Zyron sticker maker. Some of you know I've been looking for it. I don't know what happened to that darn thing. It's here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it. And I think I might have accidentally thrown a canvas out. I had taken last year, I had a Halloween canvas from Ever Moment, and I was going to get it back out. And work on it some more it was super confetti i've got the drills and i went to find the canvas i thought i had put it in a tube like one of those diamond art club tubes or maybe it was an ever moment tube and i might have thrown the tube away not realizing there was a canvas in it because i can't find it no can't find it but maybe when i clean the craft room it will turn up um <laughs> Halloween might be over because like I said there is not enough time in the day to do everything I want to do and tomorrow yes I have got to go back to the hospital for door screening but tomorrow my shift is only like a couple of hours so I don't have to sit there for five hours just a few hours so let's talk about what national day it is it's national TV dinner day Yes, <laughs> on this day in history, and oh my God, what year was it? Uh, let me find out what the year was. Uh, do you guys still eat TV dinners? Well, I think that's kind of, it's, um, it was in 1953. Um, Swanson came out with the TV dinner. Now this TV dinner, the first TV dinner was turkey, mashed potatoes, you know, cornbread stuffing, you know, nothing healthy. And it was in little compartments. I don't know if you guys remember this. I don't even know that if they still sell it that way. Um, frozen meals have become super healthy. But this first frozen meal from Swanson, they released it and um, sold it for 98 cents each um, in, yeah, in the 1950s. So I guess that was a, a decent price, but they figured they would, they're, they're, they figured they'd probably sell about 5,000. Oh my God. They sold 10 million of these frozen dinners. <laughs> 10 million and this dinner would you guys you guys would cringe at this point that this dinner would take 25 minutes to cook can you imagine 25 minutes waiting for a tv dinner and then everybody was coming out with these tv trays you know and so the families would set up their tv trays and their tv dinners and um watch tv <laughs> so and um, so TV dinners is, is kind of become synonymous with, with any kind of frozen meal, um, you know, any kind of meal that you would get out of the frozen food department, although they've become much healthier, much healthier than they used to be. Super funny. 
<laughs> TV dinners. So it wasn't until 1986 that the microwave came out. So for all of those years, people were heating those daggum things up for 25 minutes. Holy moly. Um, <laughs> Uh, so what else? Oh, so it is also National Swap Ideas Day, which I found kind of interesting. And so it's, it really, you know, it's, it kind of ties into this uh, idea that, you know, everybody's doing now, the colleges are doing it, work is doing it, is that you work as a team. Because when you're working as a team, you can swap ideas. If you're working by yourself, you you're obviously not going to come up with, you know, the best ideas. Um, that you know, better things come out of a team than an individual effort. Now, personally, I hate working in a team. I am not a team player. Sorry, just not. You know, even in, you know, when I learned that the colleges were working in teams, I'm like, oh. Um, I was dating this guy. Well, we were living together. We weren't dating. <laughs> And he was going to that University of Phoenix and they work in teams and he would be up late at night doing all this work. And what invariably what happens in these teams is that one or two people end up doing all the work and the other ones kind of just coast, which is why I don't like teams. Um, and of course, you know, my boyfriend was one of the people that did all the work. So he was up late at night, every night doing this work, you know, um, or they would, you know, that was the only time that they could get together all these working adults for a team meeting, you know, at one in the morning. Um, so, <laughs> but, um, you know, but then I found out through my job as a risk manager that um, it really is the best way to come up with a solution to an, a problem. What I would do is if I had an issue that kept coming up, I need a sip of coffee, guys. I'm talking like 100 miles an hour this morning. I probably put 30 minutes of content into the first 12 minutes. Oh, my God. So as the risk manager, what I would do if I had an issue is I would um, get some key players, you know, some key managers. That actually, I tried to leave like the frontline managers out of the out of the team because I wanted the frontline people on that team, the nurses that had to deal with these issues every day, or the therapists, or whoever it was, because I felt like if the managers were there, they wouldn't they would feel like they couldn't really express themselves. So once I got those people together and they started giving me, you know, swapping ideas, you know, we would map out the issue. We map out each step in the process. It was called process mapping. We would, you know, we would map out each step in the process and they would talk about where things could go wrong in that process and what their ideas were for fixing it. And invariably we could fix the issue. Um, so swapping ideas is a great tool uh, in the workplace. I don't think it's great for learning, but that's just my opinion. And that's just my style. I am, I'm an individual person, you know, I got to learn at my own pace. Um, yeah, because I'm always I've always been somebody that has way too much on her plate. I went to law school with two kid, two kids, two teenagers, um, and you know, so I'm doing my household stuff. I was working my third year of law school. I was working twenty hours a week, raising my kids, and going to law school. And I mean, I've always put too much on myself. And um, I got to tell you, right now, this working from home thing, I love it. I absolutely love it because I can, you know, I can get up in the morning, do my show, work for a while, take a nap if I want, get up, work some more, work in the evening. Um, although last night my internet wouldn't work. I don't know why. I kept getting the, 
the spinning wheel. So then I was watching, uh, you know, I did my live and then I was, um, had to watch Big Brother. I can't, I'm not going to give any, give anything away, but oh my God, that show's so good. So good. Uh, although last night was, a, it was weird. Um, you just have to watch it. So uh, yeah, and then tonight is the live eviction. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but my premiere is after Big Brother. I record it anyway, so I can watch it anytime, but it's, it is my favorite show right, right now. I wish Survivor would come back. Man, I love Survivor. Huh. Oh, well. Hmm. So what are you guys watching on TV? Is there anything good? I just finished watching The Great um, Adventure Race with Bear Grylls. So that's done. So I need something new to watch. You know, for sometimes at night after, uh, you know, just to wind down, I, I'll put the TV on and watch. I usually limit myself to one show. Um, but right now I don't, I haven't got a show that, that interests me. I could go back to Vampire Diaries, but eh, I don't know. I'm in season seven, I think. Season seven. Yeah. Where... Um, the main character, the girl, is, she's dead. So everybody's writing to her in their diaries. You know, dear diary or dear whatever her name was. Um, I keep thinking her name was Catherine. Catherine was the her doppelganger. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. Give me a show to watch. Tell me what you're watching. I, not crazy about like half hour comedies. There's there's one or two that are, are cute. Um but yeah, not a, not a huge fan, but what's out there that's good these days? I keep getting these emails from Netflix that we, we put this show on for you and we put this show on for you. Ah, whatever. Yeah. What I do in the evenings is I'll sit and I'll diamond paint. Um, but then I'll go lay down in bed and then just to kind of help me fall asleep, I may have the TV on. So I'll watch like one show and then I'll turn it off. So, um, I was like, my brain just went somewhere else. <laughs> well, that was weird. I had a thought and it just flew out of my head. Oh my God. <laughs> it's Thursday. Tomorrow's payday. Yay. Um, although my budget is so tight. Wow. It, it really is. Um, Jake is going to the groomers next week. Where is Jake? Oh, he's here. He's asleep. Both the dogs were scratching last night. I don't know if it's the, the drier weather. Well, it's not dry. It's, I don't know what it is. They were just like scratching and it woke me up. I'm like, stop. Okay. Back to diamond painting. Back to diamond painting. Oh, goodness. Um, what else can we talk about? So, yesterday, I hatched three baby dragons on my game. And mind you, like, I'm working and playing this game at the same time. <laughs> because once you hatch a dragon, there's nothing to do except watch it and make sure it doesn't die. So I'm sitting there working and watching my little dragon grow up. Um, not a, you, there's beautiful dragons. I didn't, for, for some reason, I didn't get the beautiful ones this time, but pretty high level. So um, I kept them. <clears throat> and the other day I tamed a monkey, a big monkey. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a big monkey. And to, tra to tame these monkeys, you have to crouch down, you know, with your character, not in the living room. Um, <laughs> can you see me crouch down in the living room? <laughs> anyway, you have to crouch down behind the monkey and follow him around and feed him whenever he gets hungry. It's weird. Yeah. I'm a weirdo. I'm a total weirdo. Oh, my allergies are just giving me a fit today so yeah I hope you guys come to the premiere tonight it's gonna be fun all right so 
So I, I'm just looking at this crop room and thinking this has got to be a project, a priority soon. It really does. I've got, yeah, yeah, um, mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm looking at it, I'm looking at the piles. I hate cleaning. I hate cleaning. I just, I do it. I do it. Um, the other day I, I swept and mopped and did all the all kinds of cleaning. I don't like to do it, but I do it because I don't want to live in a dirty house. I've watched that hoarder show. Oh my God! Yeah, those people are insane. I don't oh, I don't know how you get like that. Although if you saw this craft room, you'd probably say oh, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> at, at least I I do hoard yarn. I do hoard yarn. Oh my God, I had the best responses to my video yesterday um, about like the felt hat. Um, so someone is gonna send me some hand spun wool yarn to make this felt hat, which uh, I'm excited. This is gonna be great. Um, yeah, so cool, so cool. Um, and so grateful. Gosh, you guys are so good to me. Wow. You really, really are. Now we just need to add five more hours to the day, you know, so I can diamond paint and craft. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because I love doing all of it. I love diamond painting. I love crocheting. I love cross stitching. But gosh, there's just not enough time. To devote to all of it but oh well so I just keep plugging away doing my crafts and that one yesterday I started so cool um, if you get a chance go go back and click on that card and watch that video um, I will um, I've got a little time so I want to talk about my patreon I have a Patreon. Um, if there are three different levels, the lowest level is, I think it's $3.99 a month. And then it goes up. I think the third tier is $15 a month. I think the middle tier is $7.50. So if you join as my Patreon and support the channel, um, once a month I do a drawing. And depending on what level you are at, uh, you get a certain amount of chances in the drawing. So I still need to do last month's giveaway. But I also will shout you out during my videos. Um, I will put your name on my opening credits as a Patreon. Now, I have other people that support the channel in different ways. You know, they send me um, supplies, and that's, oh, God, so, so appreciated. It really is. I mean, you don't have to do that. But that's what I do with the Patreon money as well. I buy supplies for the channel. Like, I, I need to go this week and get some of that polyfill to put, um, to finish making my crochet pumpkin. Um, and there's some diamond paintings that I would like to get that I have my eye on because I don't have enough diamond paintings. You guys asked me the other day if I would do a stash video. I may do that this weekend. Yeah, instead of cleaning the craft room, <laughs> uh, I could do a stash video. I have, you know, Sherry did one, um, and people just loved it. Of course, she, uh, she is selling a lot of her paintings, which, you know, because, you know, when you've got that many paintings, you're not going to get to all of them. So I don't want to sell mine. I don't have as many as she does anyway. So I've got I've got a fair amount. But I at one point I did sell some of my Diamond Art Clubs, but I and I think I'm down to the ones that I do want to keep. But I would love to show them to you guys. 
And there's one Diamond Art Club that I've been looking for. They don't sell it anymore. If anybody out there has it, let me know. I would consider buying it from you. It's called Dark Times. It's, um, it's a very dark painting. It's a large painting of a, a tower. Not a tower, but a, like a castle. Um, and it's, you know, you can see it lit up. And I just, I saw it done, someone that did it, and I just really liked it. Um, but they don't sell it anymore. So if you guys have it, let me know. Or if you know someone that has it uh, and they want to get rid of it, also let me know. So guys, I don't think I have much more for today. You know, my life is just not that exciting. <laughs> I am working from home. I, oh my gosh, you know suffering through this rain you know the day before payday <laughs> yesterday i had peanut butter and jelly for lunch i don't know what i'm gonna have today uh but <laughs> i do like peanut butter and jelly um it was raspberry jelly oh so good sugar free because now i think i don't know if i told you guys but you know i did get my lab work back and i, I am diabetic um, but the, the nausea that I was having, it, it's, it has subsided. Apparently my thyroid levels were, um, very, very suppressed is the word that they're using. So they changed the dose of my medication. And so, um, I still get it every now and then the nausea, which is strange that thyroid would cause nausea. Um, the doctor said to give it a few weeks and then I have to go back to the doctor so I can get um, medicine for the diabetes, but which is probably going to, they're probably going to try to put me on that metformin, which just tears your stomach up. Oh, I've done it before. So I'm going to express my angst up over that <laughs> and try to um, talk them into some alternative to metformin but i got you know it's just been like the go-to medication for diabetes for you know pre-diabetes for years and years i'm not at the point where i need insulin or anything like that but um just something to regulate that blood sugar um so i'm not always craving sweets i love my sweets look oh my god look guys look 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 the candy jar is empty yeah that's i'm bad Although I have more in the bag. I could, I could fill it up again. But then I would just uh, eat. Oh, my God. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we got to clean. <laughs> I should take a vote. Clean. <laughs> Craft. Play. Play arc. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, guys. Please have a great Thursday, guys. I hope to see you tonight at the premiere or in Wolfpack's Live. Say hi to me if you see me. Um, see you at the premiere or tomorrow in the morning show with Crafting Journey. Get your coffee and I'll talk to you later. Bye.